and welcome to Cooking with Caitlin. That's me! I'm Caitlin. Today we are going to make pancakes for Pancake Day, Shrove Tuesday. Because I'm Scottish and to keep mummy proud, we are going to be making Scotch pancakes, drop scones. My recipe is optimised for speed and these are the things that we shall need. Apparatus. A pint jug, scales, a silicon spatula, a spoon, an electric whisk, a pan, kitchen roll, and a plate to serve. Ingredients. 150 millilitres of milk, one medium egg, 100 grams of self-raising flour, 25 grams of caster sugar, a pinch of salt, and a smidgen of olive oil. For the fastest pancakes, this is what we'll do. Method! Firstly, pour your milk into your jug until the meniscus sits at the 150 milliliter mark. Then, take your egg and crack it directly into your jug. Cracking stuff. Now, take out your scales, bung your partially filled jug on them, then switch them on. No need to zero the scale if you do it this way. Hey, time saver. Take your spoon, shove it in your flour, and shovel 100 grams of this white stuff into the jug. Oh no, 101. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar's turn. For speed, don't tear your scales. And shovel sugar in until the scales read 125 grams. Maths. <laughs> Woo! Toss the spoon in the sink and move those scales aside. <laughs> Do a bit of the old salt bay. In with a pinch of salt. I'm not sure I can do this to be honest. Well, that's more than a pinch. You won't put all that in. Eh. What is it he does? Like... Okay, let's just put a normal pinch in. I tried. <laughs> now, electric whisk, activate. Not just yet. Put its whiskers in the jug and then we can turn it on. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Progress up the intensity and maybe hold the jug on its side to help incorporate air into the mixture. There's a little bit of flour sticking to the side of the jug, but to make sure everything is all nicely incorporated, you can take a spatula and scrape that down, then remix. Waka, waka, waka. Spatula. Scrapey, scrape. And mix that up again. Now that's us made our batter, off with the whisk attachments and into the sink they go. <laughs> Woofed. Noisy. Hey good looking, it's time to start cooking. Take a bit of kitchen roll, a smidgen of olive oil and grease up your pan. We wouldn't want our pancakes sticking to my dodgy pan. To celebrate Shrove, on with the stove. I'm going to aim for a medium flame. Pan placed on top, into it some pancake batter we shall drop. My pan's dented so some bits will be thicker than others and they're unlikely to be perfectly round but that just adds to the whole homemade and rustic nature. These won't look at all shop bought. Whilst that pancake's bubbling up, the stuff that was flung into the sink can be washed up. Holy times, that pancake looks ready for flipping. No, my pancake. My pan is failing on me. I've made pancakes with this pan before. Hmm, not ideal. I'm gonna use Sarah's pan, she's nice. Dented pan, I've had many fond memories with you, but everything sticks to you. Hopefully Sarah's will be a bit better. We've got a less dented pan now. This one's non-stick, so hopefully we'll have a bit more success with this one. Medium flame, pancake batter in. Time to flip, time to flip. Sarah's pan to the rescue. Thank you, Sarah. I mean, I like my dented pan. It has character, but its non, non-stick abilities aren't too helpful. This good pan is good. All right, I reckon that should be just about done. Nice. Woo, first pancake done. Add it to the plate and with the rest of the batter, more pancakes we shall create. Come with me. 
in with the batter. It's quite a generous pancake. And I'll tidy up. This is gonna be a big pancake. Up the temperature a little bit. It's bubbling away. Some bubbles forming. Time to flip. Yeah. Maybe a little dark, so just drown with the heat slightly. My pancakes are so inconsistent. But that's how you know they were homemade. Let's add that one to the pile. Next pancake. That looks ready to be flipped. The spatula helps get the last of the batter out. I can wash this up now. Let's flip it. Yes. Let's add this to the pile. Off with the heat. And here we have it, a plate of pancakes. There are a few variables involved when it comes to pancakes. If you'd like thicker pancakes, I'd suggest using less milk. Another way you can get them thicker would be to beat the eggs before incorporating all the ingredients together. Whisk it up and get loads and loads of air in there. Unintentional rhyme. Potentially you could add some bicarbonate of soda or another raising agent, but this is a speedy recipe. My recipe yielded 10 uneven pancakes, which I think are best enjoyed with a cup of tea. If you have more time, maybe you could go foraging for some wild raspberries and whip up some raspberry jam. Here is some that I did not make earlier. <laughs> Let me just uh, spread some of it on. <laughs> yes. You could also add butter, but I think they are better without. Right, taste test. Better than shop-bought ones, me thinks. Good luck making your pancakes. If you give this recipe a go, could you please let me know in a comment below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, for the ring ham, the notification bell so you won't miss my next video. I hope you have a wonderful time. Until I see you again, ciao for now. Bye.